But let's dive into these numbers real quick, because otherwise I just don't think I'm ever going to actually talk about them. So... As you can see on my screen, this is actually from the way back, but it was covered by E! Online, all right? And this has to do with one of my favorite shows of all time. It's a little show called Firefly by Joss Whedon. It is a spectacular show that unfortunately only got one season and actually got canceled after only 10 episodes had actually been able to air. But what really got my attention on this article was the fact that they talked about how this show got a, and this these are their, their words, a measly 4.7 million viewers as an average. So this show had millions of people watching it. And here's the thing, for those that are not aware, this show aired on Fox and Fox were idiots and they've been idiots with a lot of shows. But basically what they did was they showed the show one out of order. So you did not actually get to watch the episodes in the proper sequence that they were originally made for. That's one bad thing. The second thing they did was they moved it around at different time slots to the point where you would have to be awake really late at night to watch it, which is a bizarre time to put a show that even with all of this is being watched by millions of people. Yeah, it might not be watched by an extra two or three million people watching another show, but 4.7 million average for a brand new original concept show, that's pretty damn good. It makes no sense as to why they would ever actually try and do this. It makes no sense whatsoever. All right, so that's the first thing. 4.7 million average. All right, 4.7 million average. We're watching this per episode. It says here it was ranked 98th in the Nielsen season to date ratings, which I believe there's a lot of TV shows. And so in my mind, it doesn't sound too bad, but I'm looking at that number 4.7 million. All right, now let's, let's dive into a show that I've already mentioned. Let's dive into a show that I've already mentioned, and that is Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. So this is a show that I am now in the second season of, so it's a fantastic show. I love it. This show started off with 18.36 million viewers, all right? Now, by the end of its run, this is true, by the end of its run, it ended with around 3.6 million. So that is a massive drop-off, but you still have... 3.6 million people watching this show back in 2009. All I'm seeing are millions of people are watching it, meaning you are making millions of dollars in ad revenue. That That's what I'm personally seeing from this, all right? And so Sarah Connor Chronicles, 3.6 million by the end of its run. Yes, it started off with 18 million, but when we get to these other shows that we're going to talk about, the fact that the show started off with 18 million and ended with 3 million, and yet it got canceled after two seasons, but other shows didn't, with much worse numbers, it doesn't make any damn sense. So this, of course, was yet another major debacle here from the most ter I, Seriously, they are the worst television broadcast company, and that is Fox. Fox has had so many gems of shows that they have just completely destroyed and underutilized. Another show that I've talked about on this channel was, of course, Agent Carter. Agent Carter was fantastic, and I forget which channel... So this one was for ABC. I should have known. It's the one owned by Disney. But anyway, first season, 6.9 million, ended at 4 million. Second season, started at 3 million, ended at 2.35. So some would again say, okay, it ended at 2.35. It dropped about half its audience by the end of two seasons. But it's still being watched by 2.35 million people. This is back in 2016. All right? Trust me, I'm getting somewhere. Now let's get into some shows that are really bad. Let's let's go ahead. Let's skip ahead. All right. This is Batwoman. So notice the numbers I just said. 4.7 million for Firefly. 18 million starting off for Terminator. Ending above 3 million. All right. Ending. Being canceled by only having 3 million people watching it. Now let's get to the CW's Batwoman. This show. Opening episode. 1.86. Notice the opening is already... Less than every other show I've previously mentioned that, remember, got canceled after one or two seasons. 1.86 million. And Lord knows the production budgets on this on this show is probably comparable to some of the other shows that I have mentioned. All right, no, no surprise, this show dropped tremendously over time. 1.16, 1.09. Very consistent here. This show actually dropped to under a million. As low as 0.67. 670,000. That's what that means. 670,000, 630,000, 700,000. So the most recent episode of Batwoman 
only had 700,000 people watching it. 700,000 versus 4 million, 4.7 million average viewers versus 18 million to start, ending at over 3 million people still watching this show, 3.6 million. Going to Agent Carter, 2.35 million. And then, of course, Batwoman, 0.7. You know what other show is also not doing very well? Oh, let's see. Hmm. Season 3, Supergirl, 1.87. And to be fair, this show did start off actually much stronger, but has dropped off consistently every season since. Now this show is dropping well below the million, well below the million viewer range. This show, 0.62. 620,000 people watching this show. Batwoman, Supergirl. No one's watching them, and yet Batwoman has already been greenlit for a second season, a full order second season, while Supergirl has continued to go on season after season. Now, some people might say, well, maybe, okay, this is the CW, right? CW is having Supergirl, it's having Batwoman. That, that's the reason why. That is the reason why all of this is happening. I say nay nay because I give you the evidence of a show called The Tomorrow People. Now, I've never seen this show, so I cannot vouch for it. This is a CW show, however. Back in 2013, this show's pilot started at 2.32 million people. And it got canceled after its first season. And this show ended on the last episode with 1.01 million viewers. So please explain to me, CW... Please explain to me, television, how in the hell does a show like The Tomorrow People, which is on the same station as this show, and the same station as this show, with more viewers, not get renewed for a second season, and yet this show has been renewed at least twice with the same numbers, and this show can't even get out of its first season with a million viewers watching it, on average. These are terrible numbers. And so that's the question that I want to ask everybody. Obviously, I think the answer is because, well, Batwoman features a lesbian protagonist. Therefore, obviously, the CW is keeping that show on because of diversity and wokeness. I don't need to say anything about Batgirl because Batgirl has been terrible. I mean, not Batgirl. <laughs> Supergirl. Might as well be Batgirl. Supergirl has been terrible for a long time now. Ever since that atrocious second season when they finally transitioned to the CW and they focused more so on her sister than the actual Supergirl, they've more focused on Alex, her sister, and her marriage to another woman because they had to focus on that. And then finally when the actress who was that part left the show, they were like, oops, guess we gotta go back to Supergirl now. So why do you think they've kept Supergirl on with terrible ratings, 0.62 that's awful. Batwoman. Batwoman. 0.7. And yet the Tomorrow People, which was on the same station, ended with a million people. Not renewed. Agent Carter ended with 2.35 million. Got canceled after two seasons. Terminator ended with 3.6 million. Canceled after two seasons. Firefly. Averaging 4.7 million. Canceled after one season. Didn't even get to finish its final season. So if anyone knows these numbers more so than I do, please feel free. Uh, to let me know. But I wanted to dive into those numbers because there's something going on. All right, there is absolutely something going on. Like the fact that you had shows that were really doing well. And again, I, I know that a lot's changed. Again, someone could probably bring up the argument, well, you know, back then more people were watching television and so therefore we got to take that into account. But I've mentioned also shows that were relatively close in time period to the modern day CW shows, even on the same network, and yet had the same amount of viewers, if not a little more, and yet was canceled. It doesn't make any damn sense. And now a huge shout out to my May Patreon and Subscribe Star members, Albertus Magnus, Animation Commentator, Brian P, Dion, Divex, Enrique Evangelista, Father Christopher Miller, hail to you, Father, Frank the Tank and the Shawhan Weeder Dog Clan, Harold Francis, the Hunker, Chunker, Funker Monkey, In Flame Wood, It's a Trap Productions, Jason Clark, Jeffrey Toon, Kenneth Cameo, Lady T, Laura Story, Mad Mitch Dunaway, Mike Jackson, Mr. Peabody and his evil twin with the beautiful hair, Orange Hat Reviews, Outpost Dyer, Out of 
lockstep with reality. Riff Magos, Rosetta Allen, Steve Glasker, Teresa Martin, Theodore Benden, Tina Bojan, The DJD Show, and Tina B. Thank you all for being my Patreon members. And a shout out to my subscribe star peeps, John B, Perpetual Punster, Robert Revo, Mr. Roy, Glinzer, G2 Cool 99, Dark Star 57, J. Alex McCarthy Jr., US 888209Fast, Dean Heiss, Harold Francis, J. Rod the Beer Guru, Nevadon G. Adams, and ZK. Amen. And a special shout out to David Bobrizic and Edgardo Martinez. I'm going to leave that pause there just in case anyone decides to join for the month of May because you can indeed join on Patreon or subscribe start anytime this month to be eligible for any of the perks. They include access to an exclusive podcast that I do with John the Flick Pick of John Flickinger's fame. So make sure you go ahead and check that out at the $10 and up level. Also, if you uh, subscribe star or Patreon at $5 or up, you have access to exclusive giveaways of 4K movies, digital films, and a bunch of other stuff in between as well. And if anything you could at least give anything that you really want to help support the channel and it would really help me out a lot keeps the lights on makes me able to continue to do this kind of stuff so anything you possibly give check out some more information in the description of the patreon subscribe star and of course youtube membership links as well you guys are all amazing and beautiful people have a wonderful day and as always god bless